This is part 2 of everything you need to know about LK99, the acclaimed first ever room temperature and pressure superconductor. Watch part 1 if you haven't yet, where I tell you about superconductors and why this could be a groundbreaking discovery. The video published by one of the original Korean groups suggests that LK99 is strongly diamagnetic, which is also a property of water that allows this frog to levitate, but it's not necessarily superconducting. It could also mean that the sample isn't very pure. Many scientists across the world have jumped to replicating the material, but so far, the vast majority have not seen superconductivity at room temperature. With maybe one exception, big maybe. There's calculations showing that LK99 could superconduct at room temperature, but I'm an experimentalist and I need to see it to believe it. Something that amazes me about all this is how the scientific community is jumping to replicate LK99 and verify its properties. Replication is a crucial but very underappreciated component of science, and big claims require big proof. It's an exciting time to be a physicist.